viewers welcome to my channel i care advisor today i hope you all are well today we are going to discuss regarding the transposition of the lenses so what is transposition and how to do it and why it is needed today i will discuss regarding that first of all transposition means whenever you are making an astigmatic prescription the cylindrical prescription either comes in the plus format or in the minus format transposition means when it comes in the plus format we just change it to the minus format basically whenever you are consider an astigmatic lenses there are two meridians which are 90 degree apart for example 90 degree and 180 degree so and when the cylindrical prescription comes it comes in plus or minus so generally we convert it in the minus form it's a very easy three or four step process so today i will show you how to do the transposition so without wasting any time please follow the video so friends uh, now i will do and show you the transposition how to do first of all the steps of transposition i have written it to you it consists of three parts number 1 is the sphere number 2 is the cylinder and number 3 is the axis for the sphere what it is algebraic sum of the sphere and the cylinder in the new sphere and for the cylinder it is to be done in parts and for the axis also in two parts so first i will start with an example then it will be much more easy for you suppose for example the first one we take minus 4 with plus 2 cylindrical and the suppose the axis is 120 degree so we want to transpose this one so this is the sphere this is the cylindrical and this is the axis in doing this one first we will follow rule number 1 step 1 algebraic sum of the sphere and the cylinder is the new sphere so the new sphere will be the algebraic sum minus 4 plus 2 which is minus 2 that is the sphere so number 1 is complete second step is the cylindrical for cylindrical as we can see the sign of the cylindrical power will be opposite so here it is plus so it will be opposite so this is 2a step 2b step and now the 2a step the cylindrical power always remain the same so the cylinder power will remain the same as minus 2 so this become the cylinder now for the step 3 the axis the axis is less than 90 then add 90 to it if it is more than 90 subtract 90 since it is more than 90 so 120 minus 90 which is 30 degree so this is the transposition for case number 1 this is example 1 so i will give you another example now so for example we will take it as this time plus 2 spherical and let's suppose the cylinder is plus 1 cylindrical power and this time we make the axis as 180 degree so again here we have to do the first step is the algebraic sum of the sphere and the cylinder is the new sphere plus 2 plus 1 so it is plus 3 diopter spherical second step the sign of the cylinder power will be opposite so here it is plus 1 make it minus 1 third step the cylindrical power always remain the same and number the for the axis if it is less than 90 add 90 more than 90 subtract it is more than 90 180 minus 90 which is 90 degree so this is the case number 2 the doing the transposition is very easy once you follow the steps and it will help you also in our day to day activities in the optical store because sometimes we write in the minus cylinder format plus cylinder format like that so i will give you now the third example how to do this is minus 4 for example with minus 225 and suppose the axis is 70 degree so how we will do in this one minus 4 and 225 algebraic sum both are minus so it will be 6.25 diopter spherical 
now the second step is the cylindrical the power will be opposite so make it plus cylinder always remains the same and same 225 and if less than 90 add 90 so 70 plus 90 which is 160 okay you can understand I will give another example for you this is example number four suppose plus three diopter spherical with minus 150 diopter cylindrical 90 degree this scheme algebraic sum will be the plus three minus 150 which will be plus 150 diopter the sign will be always opposite so make it plus cylinder remains the same and if it is 90 we have to add 90 plus 90 which is equal to 180 degree so this is a very easy way of doing and i will show you the last one more example you can see for example the power is pleno no power is there with minus one diopter cylinder only 90 degree axis for this case pleno means zero so zero plus minus one the new sphere will be minus one the sign will be opposite it will become plus cylindrical power remains the same and 90 or less add 90 so i will add another 90 it will be 180 degree so you can see friends it's very easy to do the transposition i hope this will solve and you understand how to do the transposition so i will tell you can share this video with your other optical persons who are working in the colleagues so they can learn this and for the optometry students also it i think it will help you how to learn the steps of transposition so please friends subscribe my channel to get the more updates and share with your friends this topic also thank you for now today i will come back again with another topic bye bye